Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard101 video. I don't know why I'm in Triton. I feel like I just, uh, well, one, I spawned in here. And I must have just ran over here randomly during the last time I was on. Not sure why. Sometimes I just like Triton Avenue. And I was sitting here, I'm like, you know, this area is going to look so good once they finally get to updating Triton and Firecat and all the other uh, streets. Because Triton's an iconic street. This is the only free one. And uh, I just feel like it's going to look so good. Just imagine all this. Just updated. I'm excited. But that's for another time. What I wanted to show in this video is a new storm set that uh, I've come up with. But I can't take all the credit because it was kind of inspired by some other people's tips and suggestions and stuff like that. Um, most of those tips came from Terranize Discord. Some people were kind of going over 100% uh, critical sets. And uh, the storm one came up. And I didn't copy anyone's exactly, even though this is probably like really similar to other people's, because it's tough once you get this high in damage and in crit to like not use the same things. But here we go. This is gonna be the storm 150 plus damage and 100% critical set, which is way better than the other set I had because I I don't know the other one I was at like 130 something damage with 100% critical, and I thought that was good. But with Cabal's gear and you know some other things, you can get to 150 plus damage. So that's what this is going to be. And here we go. This is where I'm at right now in terms of the uh, first page of stats. We've got 5,300 health and 151 damage is uh, the current <laughs> sitting point for that. I remember when I made that first Storm gear setup video where I was excited to get over 150 damage. I think I almost got to 160. And uh, to get 160, you need a damage pad. You need like every little ounce of damage that you can get from gear. But you can get 160 plus. But that's not really practical. This gear set is actually practical because you have the 151 damage. Uh, resist, whatever. You know, I don't care about resist. But 24 resist to everything. Accuracy is 30. You want to be at 30. Because otherwise you're going to fizzle the normal storm spells. You could fizzle... Uh, the new spells were Solka and Iron Sultan. So keep in mind with that one. But uh, yeah, 30% accuracy, so decent. The other stats, 820 crit. You want to have around this because otherwise it's not going to be too, or it's not going to be 100%. And I think this one is, I, I feel like the max crit right now to get 100%, you need like 815 or 816, something like that. It's around there. Might be a little higher, I'm not sure. But I think I have a set where I'm at 817, and it's still the uh, the max crit. I'm not going to actually go to it, but yeah. That's where we're at on the critical. So you need around that to have 100% critical. And uh, block, nothing. You know, whatever. 14% armor piercing. Uh, some stun resist from jewels. And there's the incoming and outgoing. And then uh, a little bit of pip conversion in there from uh, the Cabal gear, which we'll look at. And uh, here's the one where... I don't like 100% because you know it's not 100% power pip, but I'm okay with it. 94% power pips, but 9% shadow pip. That's crazy. So that's really good. Uh, the pips are pretty good. 94 is still really good, but it's not 100% because my other critical set, I have 100%. This one, you have to sacrifice something to get 150 damage. So I wanted to go ahead and mention that. So those are the stats. What gear am I using? Well, let's go ahead and start over here with the Cabalist. It's double Cabalist because, uh, well, they're the best in the game right now. They are insane. Here's the Cabalist Hood. Gives Power Pip, a lot of Shadow Pip bonus, and uh, some Pierce. Good critical, insane damage. I mean, these are just overall really good. And uh, everyone's using these. Cabalist for basically every school is good. So if you're looking for something, your max level, it's probably going to be Cabalist gear if you want to hit and have critical. So... The hat, you know, honestly, the hat is one that I haven't been using too much. I usually use the Master one right here. And uh, I've been using the Master one for a long time. Master one actually gives more critical. It gives 8% uh, less damage, though. And uh, the resist, a little bit more pierce. So it's still good. But Cabalist, if you want to have damage and critical, you need to use Cabalist. That's what we use on the hat. Uh, the robe is always the same. Master robe is so good. It's just... Nothing compares to this. I think 
that the one from General Tennyson might be similar. I don't know if it's better or not. I'm not sure. I don't even remember if it gives more damage or... I don't know. I don't feel like it's worth it. The monster one is just so good. But I've heard people talk about those robes being decent. So not sure if it would be actually good. But for this set, I don't need it. I'm going to use monster one because it fits. And uh, it makes the other stats really good. So we're just going to keep that. But the boots you're going to be using the Cabalist. These give really good damage. 32%. And uh, pretty good critical at 122 there. A little bit of accuracy. So you can get up to 30%. So basically, the accuracy is coming purely from the robe and the boots. That gives you 30% accuracy right there. So that's really good. Here's the surprise one. This one, I had no idea it was even a thing until someone in uh, Discord mentioned it to me. But this one is insane. This is the Witch Hunter's Arbalest from the Darkmoor bundle. And that's the Witch Hunter's bundle, which includes the Darkmoor house. I know that it's only 110 for me because that's the only one I have since I'm not going to redeem a whole other bundle just for 120. When I redeem this, I must have redeemed it on my life and I was only level 110 around that and I wasn't level 120 yet. So that's why it's 110, but there is a 120 version of this wand. And what that gives you, same damage, but it does give you a little more crit. It gives you 1% pierce more than uh, this so it gives you six percent pierce and it also gives you pip conversion so you could get even more pip conversion than the 200 and whatever that we have so this isn't the absolute best of the best but i'm not going to go ahead and redeem another witch hunter bundle just to get one percent pierce a little bit more crit and pip conversion i'm not going to do that like this is fine if you have the level 110 or whatever it's probably going to be good I'm just worried about the damage. It gives 12% damage. That's the same as the 120 wand. So they're very similar. But if you want best of the best, then the 120 is going to be the best you can get. So this one was a surprise. I was like, wow, this is actually a really good wand because you want critical and you want damage. And this gives it. This gives more damage than the fortune tellers at 120 right there. And similar crit, same pierce. And the other one is going to be the revered one. Not as much damage as the revered one, but it does give double the crit, and you need the crit for this. So, insane. You know, I had no idea that the stats in this were that good. I kind of forgot about it, and uh, turns out it's super good, especially for sets like this. So, people have been using this wand, and I uh, just wanted to show that. So, that's like the one surprise, I feel like, was this wand. So, thank you to the people in uh, Discord for telling me about this one. Uh, you guys know who you are, but... That was really cool to see that because I had this just hidden away in a gear vault somewhere, maybe my bank, and uh, I had to get it out for this set because it's really good. It's worth it. Uh, for the uh, theme, I'm using the Blade of the Shadow Palace, which gives the most damage, and maybe the only one that I'm not sure of if it gives more damage is the Aphrodite one. I don't know if I have it, but maybe that one gives a little more damage, but this one's still really good. 17% damage. I've socketed both crit on that to be able to get to 820. And uh, you want power pip because you're going to suffer on power pip with this set. You need the power pip jewels. So I've got that socketed and health on there. So that helps a lot to be able to get up to 90% at least power pip. And then for the amulet, fly gops, super good. Gives a lot of critical, gives some pierce. And this is the amulet that I've been going to for a while now. Ever since I hit max level and I farm for this, it's the only one I use because it's really good. It's better than the Morgan one. Gives more critical, more pierce, and a little more resist. You don't need that block anymore. Honestly, you don't. You can skip the block. And it gives you more square sockets too. So that's where the stun resist comes from. Uh, the ring is going to be Mimic Ring. It's the best critical ring in the game. So I would use it. And the socket, a critical on that, and you're set. It gives you 10% damage too, so that's also super good. For the pet, you guys know Rex. This is my critical and damage pet. I'm not sure if you could get away with not using a pet that has critical talents, because if I didn't have this pet with three critical talents, I wouldn't be at 820 critical. 
So you need the pet that has the critical. This one's good because it also has some damage on there, which allows me to get up to 150. So the pet is really important. You need a pet like this. I don't know if you could sacrifice anything else on this pet because it needs to have high critical talents and the high damage talents are also really good. 10% dealer. So it needs to be pretty similar to this in order to get these stats because the pets are really important. And I also made a pet pretty much exactly like this for my fire. I just love pets like this for hitting schools. I just feel like they're the best. Triple crit, triple damage, just overall awesome. So Storm Gulcher is uh, what you need. It's the most damage from a mount, 3%. And then for the deck, I guess I, you could get a little bit better deck with the Fight Club one or the Omen one, but it's fine. I'm fine with this. And you have to socket power pip because you need that power pip. You need that 10% on those or 11% because there are 11% ones out there, I think, but I just don't have any. So there you go. That is the setup. And amazingly, you can get over 150 damage while maintaining that 100% critical because for Storm, that's just a must. I feel like for Storm, having 100% critical is insane. That's what I go for. I love being able to critical every single time. And uh, if I wanted to... If I didn't care about critting 100%, I could switch over to this and be like, oh, look, I have 159 damage and 88% critical. Some people would be like, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with critting 88% of the time and having more damage. That's up to you. You can do that if you want. Same stats over here. More pip conversion. And uh, what else? Everything else is pretty much the same. So if you want, you could do that. This gives you even more. But this set was designed to have 100% critical and uh, that's how you get that I don't know if you could make up for crit in any other way and still you know have 100% critical with almost 160 damage that's another step I don't think we're gonna get there anytime soon maybe 130 if they come out with even crazier gear but yeah this is where we're at using the witch hunters and uh, all that other gear Cabal's gear Cabal's gear is actually super good you know it's the best of the best right now for hitting schools and uh, if you don't have it, you should farm for it. Because I need to farm for it on my fire at some point in the future. So that is the newest gear setup. I also stitched it to this wand, the new one, just to see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. I kind of like it. But I might pick a different... Oh, <laughs> I might pick a different uh, wand to stitch with this. But I just think it's kind of cool. Plus, it's new, so I wanted to use it. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Looking at my new storm setup. Because basically, we went from my old one, which was right here and uh we were at 818 on the crit 120 we went from 120 or 132 damage to 151 damage with the same critical so a lot better this one has 100 percent, but that's the only difference you get more shadow i mean it's just way better we've upgraded so this is the new gear set if you guys want to try to go for that yourself you can and uh, it's pretty good so thank you people that helped me and inspired this uh video on making that and inspired me to make my storm even better than it already was so there you go hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like on it if it was helpful uh, subscribe for more wizard videos in the future and i'll see you all next time